Welcome back. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to Aries Kitchen Live. How are you all doing tonight? I'm so excited. Okay. Tonight is the Aries Kitchen Live season one finale. So we're going to go out with a bang tonight. A bang. A bang. And we're going to make dessert and alcohol. It's going to be great. There's literally nothing better than that. Dessert, not desert. Two S's. I made sure to double check that. Welcome to my spelling bee. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, hey. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we're going to make some Boston cream donuts, okay? And then we're going to make our own Baileys, all right? Nice little creamy glass of Baileys. We're, we're building it from scratch. And then also we're making an espresso martini. Martini. I appreciate all of you very much. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. So really quickly, let me just kind of, let me just like brief you where we're at, okay? Because when you make donuts or you bake anything, pretty much there's like an hour or two hours of like letting it sit and do nothing involved in the recipe. So we're not going to be from complete step one, building the donuts on stream. I already got that started off stream because if I didn't, we would be here for like three hours just standing and watching dough. And as much as that sounds fun, I didn't want to do that. So what I did about an hour ago was I started the dough, okay? Uh, on the Twitter, go down below, click Twitter. I posted the recipe, so if you want them, they're there. But on the Twitter, I posted them uh, for following along. But I started the dough for the donuts. So it has been rising in a bowl in one clob, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that dough and we're going to flour a surface and we're going to cut them out into little donut shapes with our little cookie cutter things. And then once we cut them out into like however many donuts we're making, we're going to cover them again and let them rise till later in the stream uh, because it needs to rise once they're cut. So there's two, two like periods of doing nothing. One is out of the way. The second we're going to get going with in just a moment here. But first things first, ingredients. You're going to need a lot of ingredients for all of what we're making. Starting with the donuts that make you go nuts, okay? You're gonna need flour, you're gonna need oat milk, you're gonna need butter, salt, sugar, condensed coconut cream in a can, full fat, all the stuff, okay? You're also gonna need some dark chocolate chips uh, that we're gonna double broiler uh, method cook to drizzle on top of our Boston cream donuts. And then you're also gonna need uh, a few things for our custard or our filling that goes in the donut, which one of which is a cornstarch slurry, some sugar, some oat milk, some more butter, all right? A little bit of vanilla, a little of this, a little of that. And then you're also gonna need some stuff for the liquor that we're making, okay? We're gonna need some brown sugar, some instant coffee, some Kamora, which you guys told me about. It is a vegan alternative of Kahlua, it's a coffee liqueur. Also gonna need vanilla vodka, okay? And Jameson, I'm missing something, but there's a million things you're gonna need. So just get those things ready, okay? Because it's time to get cooking. Time to get cooking. Without further ado, let us begin. All right, let's get a work surface. Let's get our flour and let's get our dough. All right. Um, if you want to look closely, the dough has been rising for, like I said, about an hour. It's cracked a little bit, but it actually has been behaving pretty good here. So I have high hopes for the dough here. Okay. So first things we're going to do is we're going to get some flour. Put it on the work surface, all right? Nice and floured, all right? Because we don't want this dough sticking to anything. We want this to be seamless, all right? Good rising dough. Look at this. I believe me, it was smaller before. 
Uh, all right, pop this down. And I'm gonna be careful not to overwork it uh, because it's gonna be sensitive, very, very sensitive gluten-free dough. We don't have gluten. We don't have the, the vital wheat gluten, which is basically the only thing you really need for baking. So we are, we're handicapping ourselves pretty severely here, but that's fine, we're used to that. So kind of just wanna work it into a pretty thin layer. We don't want the donut dough pieces to be super thick because when we fry, when we deep fry these donuts, they puff up, all right? They go like this, they go I should, I should make a PowerPoint of it, but here's my PowerPoint, okay? They go like this and then like that, okay? So we want them to be relatively thin before we drop them in some hot ass oil, okay? Now we, we gotta decide, dude, I, listen, let's just get through this. This is a little bit stressful, but the moment we're done cutting our donuts out, we go right to the cocktails, all right? So it's good news after this, but we need to pick a size. I feel like maybe, what do you think of that size? All right, I usually, make whatever I'm cooking here on Aries Kitchen bigger than the recipe calls for. Smallest size you want. Correct. All right, one, two, one, two. One, a little small, two, a little bit bigger. What are we thinking, chat? I need your help. Help me, help me. Please help me. Also, keep in mind that this dough is gonna rise, so we're gonna get it real nice and thin right now and allow it to rise a bit. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, that didn't help. Feeling hot, hot, hot. One will be small, two is big. How is the pole doing? Actually, let's just go over to just chatting for a sec. All right, I'll hang out with you guys. Just behave. Please behave. Two's winning, oh, 69%. Nice. All right, so it looks like most of you want this size of donut. I'm fine with that. Did you cut your finger? I, oh, I'm in a perpetual state of putting band-aids on my cuts on my fingers. It's fine. Okay, two, one, officially, two is the winner. This is the size we're going with. You versus the donut they tell you not to worry about. Okay. So, I guess we should start cutting them out. I don't know if you wanna look at this nice and closely as I butcher the cutouts. Uh, you're gonna want to, we'll, we'll probably do like two or three of these and then we're gonna have to reform the dough because it's gonna have holes in it, so uno. Okay, all right. I see you over there, baby. I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. Which takes us off the front page. All right, another one over here. Boom. Beautiful. I think that's a, a good thickness. Because they are going to rise and then they're going to puff up in the oil. That's three. We could probably do two more before we re cut the dough. One and two. Beautiful. All right, I think we could probably get maybe. How many more donuts can we get? One, two, what is that, five? We have five donuts, I bet we could get two more. All right, so we're just gonna kind of roll this out a little bit. No rolling pins, we don't got time for that. We don't got time for that shit. Don't you want some dessert? Sorry, that took a long time and there was not really a lot of payoff. We'll get a little more flour here, keep it nice and dry, flip it nice and easy. That was a dough joke, by the way. Unfollowed, that's cool, I, I probably a good call. Oh, we're gonna get a lot more than two more donuts. This, this dough is like doing work for us here. By the way, I know I didn't make this on camera, but it's basically just uh, active dry yeast, all-purpose flour, egg replacer, salt, sugar, 
and a little bit of oat milk. That's pretty much all there is in this mixture here. <clears throat> all right. Oh, actually, <laughs> I feel like I should be making a more conducive shape for this cookie cutter here. I don't know, whatever. All right, here's one. And we can get two. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's try this again. Ready? Don't look at me like that, please. Can we get two more? Can we get two more? We will see very soon. This is important, okay, because at the end of the day, more donuts is better than less. Unsubbed. Dude, that's why we have that emote. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. There might just be space for one. I think it's just going to be one. Yeah. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. So you're going to take the last bit of dough. Anyway, if you want to look, we got eight. It looks like we have eight donuts and we're going to let these rise <laughs> with a um, kitchen cloth over the top of it. All right. So say goodnight. I'm going to tuck them in. Okay. Say goodnight. All right. Read them a little bedtime story. All right. Shut up. Shut up and go to sleep. Okay. Like that. Get this out of here. Put it right back in the... Put it right back in here. We're not washing these. Come on, there's just flour on it. Who cares, not me. I'm gonna put these behind me. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so happy with that. Now, chat, I need you to set a timer in chat, okay? Give me a 35 minute timer. 35 minute timer. I might listen to it, I might not. Set your timers and go. That's when we're gonna grab those and chuck them in some hot oil before we finish the donuts, okay? I'm giving you five. I don't trust half of you with the time, but you know, maybe some of you will help. We'll see, I don't know. Get the flour out of here. All right. Yeah, it's alcohol time. So, we are going to, <laughs> this by the way, this is all Jameson. This is all Jameson. Um, we're going to take our condensed coconut cream slash coconut milk here, full fat, me, and we're going to pop them open. You're going to need two cans of this, like the bird. You're going to pop open your wireless blender, and we're going to start just chucking things in here, okay? So Bailey's is a creamy, chocolatey, with a hint of coffee-flavored beverage that... I used to thoroughly enjoy, and then they came out with an almond milk version, which is good. It's really good, but I know that it's not available for a lot of you. So my solution to that is make my own in the privacy of my kitchen, which also isn't available for you. Problem solved. Uh, we're going to dump two 14 ounce cans of full fat coconut cream in here. Okay. There's one. There's two, that one's a bit chunky. You hear that? Okay. Get these out of here. We'll do a little teaspoon. A little teaspoon of uh, vanilla. That's about mm, two shots of vanilla. Okay, done. Easy. Uh, then you're gonna take a half cup of brown sugar. Drop that sucker in there. Then you're gonna need uh, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, as well as a teaspoon of instant coffee, which I have here mixed together in this little prep bowl. That's gonna provide us with our nice chocolatey and coffee flavoring. <clears throat> and of course, last but completely not least, is our alcohol, okay? So this, 
is going to make the whole thing, well, alcoholic. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, this is a lot of this is a lot of liquor. This is a cup and a half of Jameson, which it's weird to translate like baking sizes to liquor because usually you're like, I'll do a shot of it or like two shots of it. Uh, this is a lot of shots. It's a cup and a half. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna chuck it and you know what it. All right, drop it in there. All right, get your tops on. All right, we're gonna make way over here. Make a little room. This is a wireless blender, okay? The battery's on the bottom. I can just hold it out like this off camera and it will blend itself. Actually, I'm just gonna set it down for a second. And we're gonna blend it, okay? Just blend it up, all right? Nice and easy. And it's silent too, which is great. This is our Bailey's. That was it. That's literally all it takes. Silent wireless blender. We're living in the future, y'all. All right. Grab a little bit of ice. Because Bailey's over ice is the way to drink Bailey's. And let's get a nice little close up of this, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's our homemade Bailey's drink. Oh, baby. That is nice. That looks creamy. That looks exactly like I want it to. Now, the question, does it taste like I want it to? It smells like Jameson. <laughs> That's pretty damn good, y'all. I'll take another sip. I think it's perfect. It, um, it tastes a little Jameson-y, but we did add a cup and a half of, of the stuff. I think it's good. I think it's really good. I already feel a little drunk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's getting cold because of the ice? Yeah, yeah. Now it's tasting right. Because Bailey's got to be cold. You got to drink it chilled. So let it sit on the ice for a sec. I have 30 minutes left. I don't believe you. I think I have about five minutes left. We're frying those things soon, okay? Soon. I might go take a fireball and rum chata shot. That's a, um, what's that called? That's a cinnamon toast crunch shot, right? I know that because I've ingested it before. I was at a bar one time, and this was during my fireball phase. I don't know if you guys remember that. And I was like, can I get a shot of fireball? And they were like, how about a cinnamon toast crunch shot? And I was like, what the hell did you just say to me? And he was like, cinnamon toast crunch shot. And I was like, yes, I don't know what it is, but yes, and he poured a rum chata and fireball and it changed my life. Maybe we make rum chata sometime. That could be good, because we've made horchata, so. Mm. You guys remember my fireball phase? Dark times. Okay, this is really good. If you've never had Bailey's, the best way I could describe this is it's like, it's like chocolate milk, a little bit of coffee. That makes you drunk. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it smells like. All right. Have a couple sips and then you'll know what it feels like. All right, we're covering all of our senses here. Did I miss one? Touch. This is what, it, no, that's feel. We got it. We got all of our senses. This is science class. This is so good. I just want to, I just want to drink this. Hmm. Uh, that's damn good. Okay. You know what? 
Let's go chat, because I don't want to let this sit here and melt. Dude, this is so good. I think it's important to, to put it on some ice and let it like chill for a second before you just jump right into it, because when it's room temperature and it's not, I don't know, the water I feel like just kind of opens up a little bit when the ice melts. It's, it's just like perfect. Just let it sit for like a minute in the ice. It's, and this is easy. You saw how easy that was. What do we have? We had canned coconut milk, full fat. You can get that pretty much anywhere. Vanilla, get that pretty much anywhere. Jameson or Irish whiskey, you can get any Irish whiskey. What else? Uh, instant coffee and cocoa powder and brown sugar. This shit's easy. You can make this. All you need is a wireless blender. Can we hear it again? You want to hear it again? Yeah? Link for the wireless blender? Yeah, it's, uh, it's right here. There's the link. It's actually a, this product is in beta, so I can't link it. I, I'll be breaking NDA just by showing it to you on stream. Oh no. Anyway, next up in the, in the list of advanced cocktails, 101 for bartenders only. I'm just kidding. This is very easy. Uh, we're gonna take some of this stuff, which is thank, thank, uh, thanks to you guys. I didn't know this existed. This is a plant-based version or a vegan friendly version of Kahlua uh, and some vanilla Smirnoff vodka, right? So we're gonna use both of those as well as even though I poured all these into a bowl, I think we only need like two coffee beans, but we live in an excess, baby. What else? Coffee liqueur, vodka, espresso, fresh espresso, and ice. And we're gonna shake the sucker up and we are gonna put it up. We're gonna put it up. Is that what it's called? When you ask for when you get a martini and you're like, can I get a martini up? When you say up, that means in a martini glass, right? Or am I just completely, completely off here? When the Bailey hits too hard. It's up, right? Is that a thing? Did I just make that up? Up means no ice? Up means in, in a, moving on, okay? We have a, we have a martini glass chilling in the freezer. It is chilling. Are you drunk? Are you, you're drunk. It's preposterous. Not much, what's up with you? Okay, all right, I got fucking dealt with right there. Oh, okay. All right, all right, chat. I'll take the L. Just, come on, go back over here. All right, so pretty easy. So let's start with some ice. I think ice. Handful of ice. So you have to measure ice with your hand, it says because it says handful of ice. I don't know how we're gonna know what's a handful unless we measure it with our hand. What if you have a big hand? That's a different size cocktail than someone with a small hand. Crazy, right? What a time to be alive. Anyway, um, look at these coffee beans up close. And while you do that, I'm gonna go get the chilled martini glass. Don't go anywhere. Don't be toxic. Don't be toxic. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I broke it. Stop it. Stop it. Look how chilled this is, baby. Look at that frost. Look at that frost. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. So it's time to get moving here. Here's the thing, right? Oh. Real quick, check this out. I have an, a, my old espresso machine that I really don't use anymore. I dust it off just for this recipe. And all I need to do is press one button. One button, here we go, ready? Oh, it's off. Oh no. Okay, it's got, <laughs> it's got to warm up. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time, we're not live on Twitch. Take your time, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna do, so the recipe calls for 75 milliliters of coffee liqueur and 65 milliliters of vodka two shots of vodka, which if you're asking me, my thoughts are, why the fuck are you giving me measurements of alcohol in milliliters? Please stop it. Just tell me how many shots and then we'll be on our way. And we don't have to do this thing. So I'm just gonna treat it like that, okay? Uh, I think 65 milliliters is like a shot, I think. Cause it's one, we're making one martini. There's no way this should be more than one shot of vodka. Two shots in Ireland is like 100 milliliters. 
Okay, but what's two shots in a different country? <laughs> um, okay, so that means one shot's 50 milliliters. So it's like a, a shot and some change then. Are you ready? Jesus, I'm gonna press this again. Okay, here we go. Bam. That's the sound of my espresso machine doing something on its own time. So here we go. Two shots of vodka. I can't pour vodka ever without that vine being front and center. All right, coffee liqueur. We're gonna do more of this. Oh, this shit's gonna be strong as fuck, dude. That's all we're, it's, it's liqueur, which is 20%, and vodka, which is what, 35%. <laughs> this is just liquor with liquor. Alcohol plus alcohol equals a martini. All right. Let's grab our stupid espresso. Look how tiny this mug is. Hey guys, does this mug make me look huge? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna drop this sucker in here. Beautiful, okay. Then we shake. Then we, we're getting wasted tonight. Dude, this is a lot of liquor. This is, let's shake it up. You ever watch Bar Rescue and uh, one of one of the special like expert bartenders is always there being like teaching the bartenders at this like defunct bar who you know had a bartender like make sure when you're shaking your cocktail that you're smiling at the customers and they're just like and then the guy's sitting there like I fucking hate my life <laughs> can you stop smiling at me can you leave okay okay beautiful so you want to get a pour shot maybe Nice little action shot of our chilled glass. Here we go. Elevated. <laughs> this just, I mean, okay. I mean, maybe we did it right. I don't know. I'll have, a, I'll have an espresso martini. Up. <laughs> Holy, what? That is so good. This is dangerous. This is literally dangerous because it tastes like just a chilled coffee, but it's pretty much all alcohol. <sighs> Adulthood. Ah. <sighs> uh. All right, so now we have, we have the tools for a good night sitting right here, okay? I'm gonna set them right in front of me. And we're gonna take turns, me and you chat, okay? You can have a sip, here you go, there you go. And then I'll have a sip. Seriously though, look at this, look how creamy the Baileys has gotten. That is nuts, dude. It's like foamy and creamy, I love it. It's like getting better textured as time goes on. Wow. What, what were we doing today? What's the, what food? Um, I got nothing else. <laughs> yeah, we're making donuts. Dude, I don't know which one's better. This one, this espresso martini is like, it judges you. It's like telling you to go out and make more money. And the Baileys is like, hey man, remember chocolate milk? You're an adult, have some more. So they have much different attitudes from each other. This one is very on its high horse and this one is just here for a good time. Custard time, is it custard time? Oh shit, we gotta make the custard, dude, I forgot. Oh no. Okay, so chat, I actually don't have the recipe in front of me. The custard, how do I make that? Uh, so I, what do I do? Is it a food processor? What do I do with the custard? Don't forget the custard. It's custard time. What do I do? How do I make it? Mix it with your hands? That's not true. In the pan and heat on low until thickens. Okay, okay. Turn off the heat, put it in a bowl. Okay. All right, I think I got this. I think I got this. All right, so. Let's start with, let's do the custard. Let's do the custard, okay? 
All right. Okay, we got this. We you're gonna guide me through this. So I have the butter, I have the oat milk, the sugar, the slurry, and then coconut milk, right? And I just I'm gonna have that kind of mixed together, right? I didn't plan for this, although I should have, you know. So I'm just gonna add everything to the pot, right? Turn on the flame. Let's add our oat milk, easy. Add the butter, easy. Add the sugar, easy. Okay, how much lemon? Teaspoon and a half? Let's eyeball it, baby. You have a strainer in a bowl? Yeah, I have a strainer somewhere in a bowl, also somewhere. Are you good? I'm good. Are you good? <clears throat> I can whisk in this pot, right? Yeah, it's fine. Half teaspoon? All right. <laughs> I don't know where my half teaspoon is. Done. I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch this. Will this scratch? I think it might scratch. Where's the rubber whisk? All right, well first let's get the slurry going. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna get another whisk. This is going very much downhill. It's fine though. Yeah, this is three tablespoons of corn, uh, tablespoon of cornstarch and three tablespoons of water. We need to add the coconut milk in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna lightly whisk so it doesn't scratch. And if it scratches, it's Chad's fault because you guys told me to do it. Let's crack this sucker open. Okay, is it the whole thing of this? How much of this? Chat, you're really helping me here. I need you. 35 milliliters. Oh, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. That's like a, that's like that much. Yeah. We're baking, exact measurements. Beautiful, easy. This is custard, baby. I really wish I had a bigger whisk. I'm gonna lower that. Look at the texture of it right now. Is that right? Are we good? I don't know. It's pretty damn thick. Oh, that's right, she does strain it. But guess who's not gonna strain it? Cause I don't wanna deal with that. This guy. All right, we're done, dude. We're fucking done. Where's the bowl? Uh, let's get this one. This bowl, get the hell out of here. All right. Sorry, I'm not really doing a good job of capturing this because I don't want to burn it or ruin it. Oh, dude, I'm so glad you reminded me to do custard. I thought I was gonna forget about this. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, well, here's a close up of the custard if you want it. I don't know how much you care, but this is what it looks like. Looks real nice, okay? So we gotta chill this, right? Put this in the fridge. Bit of plastic on top. All right, I'm gonna chuck some plastic on top. Don't go anywhere. I'm back. All right. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Let's try it again. I hate the I hate these things, dude. This always rips, and then it's just never. All right, baby, we are back. Cheers! I have the oil heating up right here. Okay, we're getting to it. All right, it's almost donut time. Yeah, it's almost donut time. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. Um. Again, I don't have, the, since this is a video recipe, I am stupid and I didn't screenshot the list of operations. So you're gonna have to guide me here, okay? How hot is the oil supposed to be or does it matter? I'm thinking like 350 probably. That's like a safe frying temperature. What's our timer at? Heat up sunflower oil to 375. Thank you, Lizzie. All right. Do we need any more? Nah, that's probably enough. That's probably enough. And then we're gonna fry it for 
five, oh, five minutes to go. How, how long do we fry these for? And we flip them, right? Fry them and flip them. A few minutes on each side until golden brown. Dude, Lizzie, Lizzie's basically cooking this whole thing. All right. Uh, so the plan is once this hits 375, I'm chucking donuts in here. I don't care if the timer's up yet. We'll do three at a time. Four at a time. Three at a time. Two at a time. Well, we'll do three at a time. Uh, we'll see. We'll do a couple at a time. We'll deep fry our donuts. We're gonna set them over here on this wire rack. Let them chill. Once we are done with the donuts, we're gonna move this back over here. All right. Don't drink the custard, but I wanna. Actually, speaking of custard, I'm gonna move it from the freezer to the fridge. Actually, no, it's staying in the freezer. Staying in the freezer. I don't care. I don't care. Custard's staying in the freezer. What did I do? One at a time. All right, so like three or four at a time. So this should take about 10 or 12 minutes. All right, um, Lizzie says one at a time. How many should we do at a time, Chuck? All right, let's have some of the martini. We need some class. The topping. So I have this ready for the topping, okay? This is how we're gonna double broil some chocolate. That doesn't take long. Sixty-nine at a time. Got you. Fucking got you, chat. Two fifty-one. It's at two fifty-one. Hmm. Is it hot enough? <laughs> oh, I can raise the heat. This thing heats fast, actually. I didn't have it up all the way. You know what would be a cool thing? Is if I like somehow had a temperature, like an electronic, it would be so much work for so little payoff, but you had like a thermometer, a digital thermometer hooked up to the PC and you could see the temperature on screen. That's so dumb. Worst idea ever. It's 286, 289. It's heating up, baby. Oh, it's 311. That's basically 350, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here is our donut. Okay. This is it. This is going in. Close up of the donut before it gets fried. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Looks nice and donutty. Okay. How hot is it? Who could know? 335. 375? I don't know about that. We'll see how it goes. 350. I could be lying, by the way. I could just tell you it's a certain temperature and be lying about it. 350. 375. Crazy. That was perfect. Okay. Ready? Here we go. A minute and 10 on the timer? That's kind of perfect, dude. That's kind of perfect. 360. 365. One minute left. All right, we're going. Dropping it in. Slotted spoon. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. All right. Please, please puff up like you're supposed to. Please, donut. That's me chewing a coffee bean. Oh, it's puffing up. Yes, dude. Okay, chat, thank you for picking the bigger size because the smaller one would have dis disappointed us all. That's what she said. This is almost done. I think we're gonna flip it. It's already like golden brown. I'm gonna flip it. How cold is the oil now? 390, it's hot, dude. The oil is fucking hot. All right, I flipped it, I flipped it. Can you see? 
if we do a little close up. Oh yeah. Okay. You see right, right there. That's the donut. Looks good, right? Oh baby. Yeah, these are gonna be little baby donuts. So that's fine. Look at this, dude. So I think it's done, right? Why is it? Why is it this shape? It's really puffing up. I'm actually hyped. I just don't know about the shape. All right, it's done. It's done. It's fucking donezo. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, we should do like two at a time. I don't care. Watch me do two at a time. Watch me. Watch me. Take a sip of our Baileys. You're too hot for that oil. Oh damn, this brown's fast. All right, we gotta be quick with these. This is like really working out nicely, dude. I say like 40 seconds on each side, dude. They're cooking fast. Turn down the oil. Okay, sorry. You don't have to yell at me. Oh my God, it's 400 degrees, dude. Flip them. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. 425. All right, I'm putting another one in. We gotta cool down the oil any way we can. Oh no. Yeah, I weirdly feel like they could be bigger. Kinda wanna like flatten these ones out even more. Oh yeah, these ones are kinda burning. Okay, yeah, the oil is too hot. It's way too fucking hot. This one might be a wash chat. This one got burned. That's fine. So did this one. Fuck. <laughs> oh God. Put ice in the oil? What the hell is wrong with you? Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? Okay, the oil is way too hot, dude. We need to chill. Daddy, chill. Eh. Oh. We're one for four. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let the oil chill. <laughs> oh no. How did you get so hot, dude? You know what I could do is I could add some regular oil. I'm in the pantry, I'm in the pantry, I'm in the pantry. I'm in the pantry, where's the oil? I'm in the pantry, I lost it. We have no more oil. All right, we're just gonna have to wait. We're just gonna have to be patient. Cause chat overheated the oil. You guys control the temperature of the cooktop, not me. It's, it's really hot. It's like 430 degrees. So lesson here is don't let the oil get too hot. Cause look here, here's what the donuts will look like when you cook it at the right temperature. They puff up, they look nice, okay? Here's what they look like if you burn them. Shitty, okay? Still probably good tasting, but shitty. Everything's fine. Everything is so fine. I'm actually gonna flatten these out a little bit more. All right, once this oil just chills out, Would this really be Aries Kitchen Live though if I didn't burn something or have the oil too hot? I don't know, probably. Stop smashing. Don't flatten them. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Hmm, here's what we're gonna do. Don't flatten them. Oh why, because they spent like an hour rising? <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna put this oil over here. You know what? I might save those for later. And I might roll with just one donut, okay? Because 
at the end of the day, I am but one man, okay? So I only need one donut, maybe 10. And I can always make more later. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I don't wanna trigger any more of you by flattening these, so I'm gonna put these over here. I also feel like it's boring to literally watch oil cool. It's like watching paint dry. So let's turn on the burner. Let's double broil some chocolat. Let's go get the custard out the freezer. Please don't have completely hardened up. Yep, it looks good, beautiful. All right, so somewhere around here, I have what I need. Here, right here, this is it, all right? This is, this used to have Jameson in it, by the way. Mix it to make it smooth again. All right, I will, I will, I will. I'm gonna get our, this is our piping bag, okay? I'm gonna mix this around. Oh yeah, good call on mixing it. Does that sound disgusting to you? Cause it definitely doesn't to me. Okay, all right, we're gonna put this in the piping bag. Okay, all right, chat, I need your help. Okay, do I, do I put the filling in? Don't say WAP. Don't fucking say WAP. Do I put the filling in with the, with the piping bag? <laughs> stop saying, stop it. You need to fucking stop it, chat. You're nasty and you need Jesus. Jesus, dude. All right, I'm putting the... What goes first, the chocolate or... <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. I'm turning off my microphone, dude. You guys are disgusting. Custard first. <laughs> I can't believe you guys. All right. All right. All right, we have our, our custard right here. Jesus, I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> don't push hard on the donut. Let's check the temperature. Maybe I'll cook one back here, behind your back. 380. Oh, easy. We'll just pop another sucker in there. I don't even need heat. Yeah, I do. We're doing another donut behind the scenes over here. Cooking two things at once. Make sure after you patiently let your donuts rise, you smash them back down. Bring them, bring them back to reality. Remind them who's boss. So we want this water to get like a nice little boil in here. Okay. Lower temperature on oil. Stop yelling at me. I'm hoping this can puff up again. Oh, it's puffing. Puffing stuff. Putting another one in. Dude, we're cruising, baby. All right, so. Oh yeah, the oil is a much better temperature now. All right, this is boiling. Let's grab a little baby spatula here. We got really lucky with our first donut. This puffed right up and it worked perfectly, so it is time to melt some chocolate. Here we go. You wanna get a look at this? Put a little bit in and we're gonna wanna mix it as it melts. This is a beautiful double broiler little attachment. My mom actually got me this because as most of you probably remember, I called her live on Aries Kitchen and she uh, helped me when I was trying to cook chocolate. So she bought this for me, very nice. Beautiful. Want this to cook, beautiful. So these aren't puffing up a crazy amount. Also they're gluten-free and gluten-free shit sucks. So we're used to that, that's fine. We want this chocolate to get nice and smooth though. Melt all the way down. All right, I'm actually gonna lower the temperature here. And now we fill the donut with some custard. I don't know if you could see this. All right, it's actually working. It's, yep, okay. Beautiful, it's in there. Chat, don't fucking be nasty, I swear to God. All right, beautiful. 
Guys, this is this is the finale here, okay? We're gonna try to put some chocolate now on the top. Boston cream donuts, who? Shits are easy. We want the chocolate to be a little bit more smooth, a little bit more smooth. All right, we need to get the finale here, okay? The chocolate is smooth. Chat, are you ready for the final situation here? Okay, we're gonna pour chocolate on our donut. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, baby. Oh my God. Dude, <laughs> look at this thing. We made a Boston cream donut, I think. I think we did it. Wee, wee, you did too much. Are you complaining I did too much chocolate? Back off, all right? Bunch of babies. Let's get a nice little dish here. Was that loud? I don't care. Oh, I don't even need that. You know what? You know what, chat? Okay. I'm taking a picture of how toxic you're being for my lawyers. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Boston cream donut, I don't know. Did we do it? Maybe, who could know? Literally, who could know? How do we cut this thing in half? All right, I need it. you know what? I don't care. I do not care. Time to cut this thing uh, open, right? Open, cut it open, cut it open. Give you a nice front row seat to this right here. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That's our donut. I'm gonna take a thick bite of this right now. Just a thick old bite of this donut, dude. Okay, this might not be safe for work right here. I'm definitely not dripping chocolate on my camera. Here we go, dink bite. Oh my God. That is so good, dude. Dude. That tastes amazing. Mm. Wow. Absolutely wow. Is my ass turning on the... God damn. Okay, this wasn't easy and I definitely didn't do it perfect. Burn most of the donuts. I've never made donuts ever in my life. This is my first attempt trying to make donuts, I think. Pretty sure about it. <sighs> All right, chat, we did it to him. We absolutely did it to him. Here's our donut. It's beautiful. You want a bite, chat? You can have a bite here. Bite it off the plate. All right, so. We made our Baileys, we made an espresso martini, we made a Boston cream donut, and we're done. Thank you for joining me. You guys are amazing. I really quickly wanna say something here, okay? Uh, we've done nine episodes. Season one is now officially done. This has been a project that I've been working on for months and months and months before you ever saw any of it. Uh, it has meant so much to me that you guys have supported and I want to give it the biggest, most special shout out. Right after you, I give it to my best friend, Will Shahan, okay? He has been producing this show from his house, miles and miles away, pressing buttons, changing cameras, making this thing run like the smooth beauty that it is, okay? So can we please get some love for Will Shahan in chat? He's obviously not here because, you know, he's, uh, he's doing it from his house, but... 
big shout out to Will, and uh, thank you so much for. <sighs> oh, I'm here. Oh. Hi. Good to see you. It's good to see you. I don't know. Chad, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> I was in the pantry. Oh, <laughs> there's <laughs> internet in there. <laughs> I think people can see me crawling in. <laughs> I don't think so. What's up, y'all? I came out for the final episode. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Omni Phillips and also Fluck and uh, and you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this season and uh, also to Julian. So I'm going to go push more buttons and uh, hopefully see you guys on the next one. My guy will. <laughs> Exit the same way you entered. <laughs> well, there it is. Um, shouts out to Will for uh, jumping on this project and making it happen with me. I'm so proud of how this season of Aries Kitchen Live turned out. I uh, couldn't be happier and I just, I'm overwhelmed with the support that you guys have shown this project. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know when we'll be back with cooking here on Twitch, but I hope soon. So I'll keep you posted and I hope all of you have just a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, do it to them, make some donuts, have some drinks, and I'll see you guys on the next stream. Peace.